All right, good morning, Graham here. I'm with my friend Jeff. We're just about to take off from my house here in Sunnyvale, heading over to Half Moon Bay. So I might add, uh, Jeff's an avid cyclist. This will be his first, is this your first overnighter? Touring well, first, overnight. yeah, first quote, you know, touring experience, but I have no doubt he'll make it. He's a, he's a good backpacker and outdoorsman. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Let's see how this goes. At nine miles and 45 minutes into our ride today, just passing behind Stanford University as we are headed north towards uh, the town of Woodside. All right, just making our way through Redwood City. We'll be making a left turn up here on Woodside Road pretty soon. Heading up into the Santa Cruz Mountains. All right, we're gonna make a left turn here. Whew. All right, we're on Kings Mountain Road and it's quite a climb. 89 degrees, kind of warm too. So I'm just taking it slow. And Jeff is way up ahead of me. All right, we have made to the top, to the intersection of Kings Mountain Road and Skyline. I am beat, or well, exhausted. I'm not beat yet. That comes later. But uh, now we're gonna cruise down the other side where hopefully it'll be a little cooler. It's kind of warm coming up here. So heading down to the ocean now. All right, we were bombing down the hill here and uh, Jeff's rear rack decided it was uh, wanted to depart from his bicycle. Yeah, and it ended up dragging the bags and <laughs> his tent on the ground for a minute. And yes, we had a little excitement, but we resolved the problem with a multi-tool and some tightening. And we're on a nice downhill run here too. Beautiful. Beautiful run. Nice trees, nice forest. Good time until the rack came off. down the mountain and onto Highway 1. As you can tell, it's a little busier than the other roads. Uh, about five miles to Half Moon Bay and the campground will be awaiting. We have made it to Half Moon Bay. Now onward to get some beverages and a burrito. Yeah. All right, we just picked up uh, some adult refreshments and then went to the taqueria and got a burrito, some nachos. So yeah, we'll get to the campground. All set to chow down. All right, $7 hiker biker site. 
pretty good deal, especially in California where everything's freaking expensive. But uh, yeah, foggy here, kind of cool, but feels good after being in the hot weather a couple hours ago. Good morning as day two begins here in Half Moon Bay, California. It is a foggy Wednesday morning, uh, but kind of nice, very calm and uh, peaceful at the moment. So uh, we're just packing up and we're going to head over to get some coffee and probably a little breakfast before we travel south down Highway 1 towards Santa Cruz today. We just did a McDonald's and Safeway stop. Got snacks and all we need, I hope, to get down to Santa Cruz, which is about 60 miles, so uh, relatively flat. We'll see how the day goes. Headwind today, which is unusual on the coast. Usually the wind is out of the north, but definitely today it's out of kind of the southeast. So making for a little slow going, but we have all day to get to Santa Cruz. And the sun is just making an appearance. So, Jeff, how goes it today? Slow going with a slight headwind, but uh, sunny spots picking up. Yes, indeed. A little sunshine goes a long way. See which way the wind is blowing. It's not in our favor. All right, a little after one o'clock. We're about 30 miles in, and not too exciting. There's still a bit of a headwind, and it's just been kind of overcast the whole way. So not quite as scenic when the sun is not shining, but traffic's light and fairly pleasant. So yeah, all good. Alright, we just stopped in here at Swanton Berry Farm and had a uh, strawberry shortcake and a cup of coffee so I can feel my legs being revitalized and ready to take on the final stretch into Santa Cruz. Because yeah, we kind of had some headwind today and uh, did kind of wear us down a bit. So, got about another two hours to get to the campground, but we're in good shape. How was that strawberry shortcake? Excellent. We have made it to Santa Cruz. 4.30 in the afternoon. It's been a kind of long day. We're just at the Knob Hill grocery store picking up dinner. It's been a long day. 5.30 already. But only two miles to the campground. Woohoo! We have arrived. New Brighton State Beach. 6.15. All right, 8 a.m. on a Thursday morning at New Brighton State Beach here in Capitola, near Santa Cruz. We are about to take off, head back over the hill. Last day, day three of our little mini tour down the coast here. And we will be climbing up to Summit Road and then back down towards Lexington Reservoir. All right. 
Uh, we didn't get too far. We saw a bakery, needed coffee. So just took a little break here as we're trying to delay climbing up the side of the Santa Cruz Mountains. But here it comes, it's inevitable. All right, this is old San Jose Road, heading up to Summit Road in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And it's pretty good grind. And a surprising amount of traffic for a Thursday. All right, we've made it up Old San Jose Road. Now we're on Summit Road. And looking for the mountain market where we can stop. And I gotta get my green Gatorade. All right, we're at the Summit store, had a little refreshment couple more miles till we hit Old Santa Cruz Highway and then it's downhill to Lexington. Arate! We have made it to Old Santa Cruz Highway and now it's all downhill into Las Gatos. How nice. Descend. All right, we're on the dirt path now, by the res reservoir, a little bumpy, but nothing this bike can't handle, I hope. All right, now we're on the Los Gatos Creek Trail, which is uh, gravel at this point, but not too bad. And we're getting close to the point where Jeff and I are going to have to split up as he heads down to his house in San Jose and I head back to Sunnyvale. All right, we've made it down to Los Gatos where the beautiful people live. And uh, this is where we'll be splitting up as Jeff is heading down to San Jose and I'm heading up to Sunnyvale. And we've done our 100 and Oh, 125 miles in three days. It'll be about 140 by the time we both get home. So nice three-day trip. Any words of wisdom for other people attempting this, Jeff? Uh, always bike and, uh, with a tailwind. Always bike with a tailwind. That's a good one. Uh, um, we could just have to get a big truck with a fan on it to follow like us or something. Yeah. yeah, headwind yesterday was pretty brutal. But besides that, we survived. Yep. And, uh, it. and it was good. Yeah, get out there and enjoy this world. That's what I would have to say. Anyhow, all right, well, I'm gonna have to head home as Jeff's gotta head home too. He's got a dog, I got a dog. We both miss our dogs, so get home to the dogs. I'll see you at the next Simone event. Yeah, probably. Or uh, something, maybe. All right. So, all right, well, peace out, Jeff. Good time. Safe ride. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk soon. Let me know if anything exciting is happening. Will do. See ya. See you later. Thank you. All right, Jeff and I have gone our separate ways. He's heading down to Almaden area of San Jose, and I am heading over to Sunnyvale. So our little trip is about to come to an end. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and hope to see you somewhere further down the road.